Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to Chapter 8 of Land of the Night. Looks like we're working with Kalsia and crew again. That's the Demon Castle to, Mar to Romanza. Truly, it's a sight that makes you doubt your... Yeah. Truly, it's a sight that makes you question your eyes. It's not something you can think of as something out of our reality. Strange. A bizarre large, big castle. It look, how could this be? We didn't make it in time. In the end, it looks like we weren't able to stop this demon castle summoning that Fulbio I told us about. Before we got to Grand Noah Castle, the event had already occurred. But the spread of the land of the night is slower than anticipated. In the summoning of the demon castle, maybe they made some kind of mistake. Hey, 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 if only you knew. So then, we might still make it in time? It was said that once the demon castle was appeared, that this world would fall completely all at once. But now, at the very least, it's not that bad yet. But it's still just a matter of time. From the demon castle, the power of dreams is corroding even now. In that case, we'd better get in there and do what we need to do quickly. Vrijeo, what kind of action can we take? Somehow or other, I can feel there's a connection between inside the castle with the land of the night. Probably in the castle there's some kind of other world gate. So if we can seal that gate, this world can still be saved? Is that what we got? If we can seal it, that is. But we don't know how to. When you say gate, do you mean that black vortex? The ones that sucked us into our this world? Well, like that, but much bigger, I think. But we don't know how to close it right now. Now, whichever way, rather than speculating at it with speculating on it without inspecting the article in question, all we can do is leave it to our imaginations. Rather than worrying our heads here, how about we go to it and try some things? So we're just gonna trial and error it. That makes me a bit uneasy. Well, if we're too late to take action, our options are limited even more. As long as we still have the opportunity, we should take action. Although it's reckless, there's no help for helping it. Yeah. 
<laughs> In the end, we're just tackling it head on. There isn't any better way. So, I guess we can't do anything else. Lorette nods quietly. In his eyes, he's got a strong will. Hmm. I'll leave the difficult stuff to you. I'll be in charge of spreading pollen. I'm the same as her. After all, I'm just... Honestly, just a fox. I too don't know the circumstances of this world. My objective is only to protect Kazuya. So then, ultimately, Kazuya, you're going to return to your original word, world. In that case, I'll throw my into it, myself into it with all my might. She's a nice girl, isn't she? And with that, the decision is made. We're going to ride on into the front gates of the Demon Castle to Romanza. Although reckless, there's no other way. If we're slow at waking our way in, that much more, the world will be closer to destruction. Alright, prepare yourselves. Let's go. I understand. With this, the heroes entered the Demon Castle. This is somehow a very strange appearance. At the same time, it feels oppressive and safe. The Demon Council to Romanza. I haven't been able to search it in the past before, but if it's something like the ones we see in our world, perhaps it's not too much different. Well, it seems at the moment to be the same as the ones in our world. So perhaps it's not too much different. So Rijeo is cautious, but looks around. But the gargoyles aren't moving. Why aren't they attacking us, I wonder? Gargoyle. She mispronounces it. Again, in her setting, there isn't any English, I th think. Although the fox and Mukuro don't seem to... And Daimyomi said a few words in English. Well, let's not worry about the consistency, hmm? It's those statues, but... They should also be nightmares. Normally, once you get close, they would attack. Well, and if this is how it is, then we got through one gate without a battle. So, let's proceed onward cautiously. So now that we have control, let's cheat a little and know what we're going to come up on. And Mukuro is going to be hugely useful. In fact, she has the most life of any of the characters right now. Although that'll change pretty soon. Well, well, an intruder. Welcome to the castle that lies between dream and reality. Guests are always welcome. Come, let's frolic in a sweet dream. Nightmares, be careful. Your normal attacks won't work on them. Only pleasure affects them. Those types Byakunin and I will have to focus on support. Do your best! Do your best! Come on! 
You're fighting too. Ah, oh, those two are so irresponsible. Anyway. Whoops. These three attack and Mukuro finishes them off. Mukuro is awesome, I gotta tell you. At least on very easy difficulty. If you want to try it on harder, that's up to you, but it would drag down this Let's Play a whole lot. Anyway. Jeez, this is so frustrating. In my world, we wouldn't think of using attack using sex as attacks. Attack, attack, you say. Although it is one way of getting people to submit. Amongst the nightmares, they don't actually think of it as attacking or being attacked. At the very least, in the world, in our, as regards our world's nightmares, that is. This sort of thing does happen quite a bit. If I had to put words to it, I'd call it something like communication. Hmm, I see. In spite of not understanding the English word for communication, she sees. Okay, okay. So, the nightmare's way of thinking is... I think I understand it a bit. So, in Kazuya's world, that sort of thing doesn't happen, huh? It seems... really boring. Uh, no, no, no. There's sexual activity, but... It's not a skill you use in battle. I... <laughs> yeah, she's saying, I use it for... as an attack, though. It must be inconvenient for human men. I do it, too. Particularly, I like to... You know what, I'll spare you the description of what she's describing. Well, you demons are... are there to be toppling humans. Mukuro, in particular, was made with those functions in mind. <laughs> Apprentice. Shouldn't it be best if we taught you some sexual techniques as well? I'll teach it into you well and truly. Uh, here, please stop. Yeah, this Master Apprentice love love stuff has got to stop. Jeez. Aren't you married? Aren't you a married man? He's specifically saying. Byakunin is a married man. It, I am, but I don't understand you guys. Alright, enough with the small talk. Let's try and figure that out later. For now, let's uh, continue onward. But inside of the demon castle are not just nightmares. There are also monsters from this world, originating in this world, that are lending their hands to the Lord of Dreams. When there are enemies, our normal attacks will work plenty. So let's find a way to get to that gate. This is actually a pretty big place. Ahead of here, from the second floor, I feel the presence of 
akıllı bir yuva. The way she's releasing her aura like that. It's like she's enticing us to come see her. Because she's the way she is. If we speak to her, perhaps she'll know something about the gate. I don't want to just accept an invitation, but it can't be helped. Let's go. Rather than searching around the castle aimlessly, it would be best to go ask someone who knows what to do, what's going on around here. But she's a pretty fearsome person to come to face, to face down. Anyway, nothing to do but head up to the second floor. But actually, there's a port here. But we're not in the dream world, so its normal functions have been lost, it looks. Using this device's power, maybe we could divert it to our use for recovery and job change system, and access to the job change system. And it's simple as that, we'd actually get it. Verse. Back in the last chapter I controlled them, Rijeo and Magatsu got the player job in order to reduce encounters. But let's put them on something better for them. Yeah, that should be enough. You can check out their stats down at the bottom there. Mukuro's stats are way better than everyone else's. Because she's equipped with stuff, presumably. But I can't be bothered to optimize my gear. I'm gonna run and just run off right on up into a barrier. Hmm. <laughs> What's up with this? It's some kind of barrier, barrier technique to reject intruders. It looks like we won't be able to pass here so easily. Hmm. Magatsu. Can you break the barrier? This is not possible. The way that it's put together is different from how it is in our world. I can't break it. Well, something like this. Certainly somewhere on the same level. There should be a device to open it. If there wasn't, then it would be inconvenient to go through. I see. But it probably won't be anywhere conspicuous. Let's search every corner of this floor. There should be somebody who knows where the release mechanism is. Let's go ask around the people who are hanging about the castle. Well, if we don't release this, we can't continue forward. Let's search for the release device. You could get lost here if you don't know where you're going. My trial run took a while. And yes, you wander into the kitchen and speak to one of the cooks. So, you want to know the place where the release mechanism is. But, it won't be for free. I guess she knows. From one of those three men there, I'd like to suck out a bit, little essence. If you let me, I'll tell you. Hmm, okay. So, who wants to be sucked? Ouch. How can you be convinced so easily? 
Yeah, you can't just decide for everybody. But we don't get an option. Canceling out isn't an option either. Who's going to give some essence to the Nightmare? Yeah, let's go with Byakunin. Alright, Byakunin. Go ahead. Hey, let... Master... Think of it as training as well. Think of think of this as well as training. Go on. Uh, right. Please be kind to me. All right then. Chew. So she kisses him. Kissing noises. Biakinen being. Stimulated noises. So she gets some essence. <laughs> You're feeling it, aren't you, Byakunin? Making such a melted face, they call it. Well, even in our language, you can say you can melt in someone's hands. This person. Does she have some kind of weird, weird hobby? Hmm. All right, I had myself a taste. She releases Byakunin. So, as promised, I'll give you a hint. Go to the floor where there is a nightmare dancing. You got your essence, and you're just going to give us a hint? Well, anyway. On the appropriate floor, let's start searching around. Let's start asking the people that we find there. Okay. And this girl's dancing in the middle of this particular room. And you need to talk to her specifically, not everybody else, which I did first. I mean, you'd think she'd be busy. So, the location of the release mechanism. The wall right behind me. Search it very carefully. Oh yeah, you could see this at any time and you could look at it. But they wouldn't let you open it until you spoke to everybody in that order. No, you ran into the barrier, spoke to the other two in that order, and then you could do this. Anyway. Ah! There is a hidden door here. Good, good job finding that, Byakunin. So the release mechanism should also be further in here. When there's cracks in the wall, there's a hidden room, huh? We should keep an eye out to see if we see that anywhere else. Okay, great. I don't see any mechanisms in per se, but I don't back down from a fight. I've got something to do up there, so let's just release the barrier for a bit. Ah, you saw? In that case, I can't let you leave. No, we've been... ...privy to unacceptable secret. Oh yeah. Normal attacks don't work, guys. Okay. We got an Idea Prism. Okay. Hmm? When we opened the lid of the chest, did you hear some kind of switch activating? It seems the treasure chest itself is the release mechanism. If you open the lid, then the mechanism upstairs will be deactivated, it seems. 
In that case, we can go up to the second floor. In the throne room, Fool Bira should be laying about, being all haughty and arrogant like her, like herself. We'd better be prepared for a fight. Mm, I'm taking a different route, but uh, it does kind of demonstrate how big this damn place is. Whoops. That was such a wrong way to go. Okay, full bureau is right ahead of us. Probably we won't be able to avoid a fight. That full viewer nightmare. How strong is she? Amongst the nightmares, I've heard she's quite powerful. Even if we, all of us came at her at once, she might be able to fight us off. She's that fearsome, huh? And furthermore, nothing but pleasure works on her. Huh, isn't it? But she should know the location of the gate. We've got to get the answer out of her. It took me a while, but I realized all the nightmares hanging out on there. Offstage platforms will follow you as you move. Well, in as much as they can, they'll turn to face you. Anyway. Enticed by my beauty from several worlds, heroes have come to have gathered to see me. If you desire beauty, then I, Fulvira Sheena Restani, shall respond to you. Well, you're as you as ever. Come on. We'll have you tell us where the location, where the gate is. So, knowing that, what do you intend to do? Don't tell me you're going to resist the dream spreading in this world. We will resist it. We won't let this world be annihilated. Resisting the pleasure dream and denying the land of the night. You really are interesting, you guys. Humans with a strong will seem to make very good toys. Let me play with you. As expected, we aren't able to avoid this fight. Let's do this. I'm in charge of support. Do your best, do your best. Such slackers. This one will take a little longer. I'll do just one thing to make sure I have enough. Okay. <laughs> You've alleviated my boredom. Yes, that was pretty fun of... fun. She really doesn't seem like she's... going to be losing to us anytime soon. More impressive than... more powerful than we thought. That arrogance of hers... I guess it's because if she can actually back it up. 
Well, I must thank you for entertaining me. The what, what you desired was the location of the gate, wasn't it? No way, she's really going to tell us the location of the gate. Full view I Don't tell me you're planning on letting the heroes escape. Well, Musette. What task do you have in my castle? So appearing in this place is some angels. No, definitely demons. That we're seeing for the first time. At least from Kazia's perspective. There's no mistake. These girls are all are also in the alliance. But furthermore, the pressure they release is on a level with Pulbua. With only one opponent it was bad enough, but this situation is bad. This demon castle is summoned here through our painstaking efforts. That you get to lay around here so leisurely. Whom do you think you have to thank? Yes, you did offer it up to me after all. Have you come asking for me to praise you? You really are an arrogant nightmare. How about I take this demon castle back? Well, just now, don't tell me you tried to control me. <laughs> it's useless to try and to try and uh, overpower me. No, that's not right. Overcome. Overwhelm me. My heart does not falter in the least. Now, as expected of someone chosen by the Lord of Dreams, you can't you won't so simply be brainwashed like that. But Brainwashing isn't my only power, you know. Well, that power... That supposed power... Why don't you show me what you have? Fulbira and Musette are... trying to stare each other down here. These guys, even though they're in the Alliance, don't seem to be operating as a monolith, that's for sure. Well, that's a good opportunity for us. We can't let the opportunity give away. That was our chance, Byakunin. We're going with our usual battle plan. Leave it to me. Running away at full speed. Well, it is tried and true for this group. So we ran away with no looks back, without looking back, as fast as we possibly could. <laughs> well, we've gotten this far. Looks like we're all right. Kasia, you two have gotten pretty good at running away. Furthermore, Lorat, you're surprisingly quick. Even all that running we did, his breathing isn't disordered in the slightest. Perhaps Lorat is the fastest of us? Actually, I too have a lot of confidence in my running, in my 
running away. Jeez. It's nice to be young. Thanks to my age, this is tough on me. We can't sense the presence of full viewer or any of the others chasing us down. They're having their dis She's having her dispute with Musette and can't spare us a look at the moment. <laughs> Power trips. Gotta love them. So, what do we do now? The members of the Alliance are more dangerous than we thought. Honestly, we underestimated them. The enemy forces are not to be not on an ordinary scale. In the end, we ended, we didn't get to hear the location of the gate. I don't think we have any more time to be spending searching aimlessly. You're saying we should pull back for the time being? Yes, we clearly underestimated our opponents. It's dangerous to investigate this castle any further. Laura seems to be agreeing with Magatsu. The rest of them don't look like they're inclined to oppose the proposition. So we should gather together our companions and plan a counter and plan a counter strategy. Let's come again after we're prepared. That's right. Let's retreat from the demon castle for now. Continuing like this, without a doubt, will be defeat. Ah. <laughs> you guys, to find you here in such a place. Why don't you come play with me? No way, Muska. And where Muska is. Mm -hmm. Well, well. You infiltrated the demon castle. Honestly, you guys cannot be scorned. And Nemeo too. Zero surprises with this one. It looks like you're planning to uh, run away. Well, how do you plan to run away from this situation? Honestly, these are the three people I wanted to meet least. There's no way we could fight them head on. Everybody? We're running! Yeah, more than fighting, that's definitely the better choice. Mm-hmm, I'm coming too. <laughs> Are we playing tag? Hurry up and run. If we catch you, we'll eat you. Yeah, if we're caught here, it, that's the end. We've got to somehow run away. Okay, if Musco then catches, that's the end. Being caught is game over but they're still not particularly fast. Keep on running. If you're caught, it's game over. Come closer, Muska. Okay, so in this particular screen, they're not gonna actually chase us. If you come over here, Nemea says, uh, come over here to where I am. 
I'll send you to heaven pleasantly. Yeah, we can't go this way either. Hmm. Well, I don't have any use for that, but if you need to, there's that too. So we're escaping. Except we're not escaping at all. Oh, though. You can't pass this way. You won't be getting out of this castle. Let's escape by some other route. And yeah, she won't chase either. So we're stuck with one option. Well, there are a couple other doors down there, but he'll just say that's not the way to go. Come on, I'm going to overtake you. Whoops. I expected a couple more lines before it made me run. Aren't you getting tired? Why don't you give up already? It's all right. Come on. Fly into my bosom. Ha! As far as chests go, I'm not losing. Is that really what you should be arguing with her about? Geez, she's still coming. There's nothing to do but to flee underground. Like you should have done in the first place. I was surprised. We can't go anywhere but underground. Well, now, you're just flying all over the place. But don't you think it's about time you gave up? I got my bad at giving up Nis from our damn boss. Once we've got our alleys, once we're all prepared to come back here, you better watch. I'll bite your face next time. I'm glad we have those girls on our side. They really told those demons. The presence of Muska and them has disappeared. Did we shake them? You can't let your guard down. Let's proceed carefully. We need to search for another way to get to escape from this castle. This looks important. I don't know if it is important, but it sure looks important. Anyway. Uh, hmm. Okay, I cheated a little. I knew that was going to happen. I had two trial runs. In the first trial run, I triggered this event like you're supposed to, and in the second, I found out you could go around it. Anyway. Looks like they're not chasing us. Seems like we really did chase them. Shake them off. Ha ha ha. No, you won't get away. Furthermore, I've gotten tired of playing chase. Ah, let's run away. I told you I was tired of it. If you turn your back on me here, I'll kill you. She's serious about her killing intention. If we try to kill, if we do try to run, we're going to be killed. Well, it can't be helped. Prepare yourselves. We've only got one opponent. If we all come out here, maybe we can somehow get through it. With this monster as our opponent, it might be pretty tough. But. Since we can't run away. Hehe, <laughs> that's right. If you're called a hero, then show me how you stand and fight heroically. I won't forgive you if you die easily. Lorat, please. 
Um. Yeah, I better use some good attacks. After Laura, rejail. Great. Mm. Okay, heal yourself. Phoenix tail for rejail. Laura! These people are impossible. That's more like it. Yeah, she's tough enough that I can't just fly through the battle like I do for most of them. Well, well, that was pretty entertaining. Your otherworldly heroes. Yes, I suppose that's about appropriate for it. As expected, she's incredibly strong. We get her to pull back for a moment, but... We're a long way from victory. Somehow we've got to look for an opening and run. Hey, Grandma! It's unfair of you to be taking my prey. And won't you leave one behind for me? That Byakunin, I'd like to have around with. You know, we fought all three of these now. In Kalzio's first chapter, we fought Miuska. In his second chapter, we fought Nemea. And now we fought Venom once. Anyway, no way, the other two have come. The time for playing is over. And now, it's time for our meal. Just take it easy and get eaten. Haha. <laughs> Shizuku no Honryu so no sekai ni koreshi ken. Seinaki sh Shizuto Sigma Frost So Alice casts Sigma Frost Hmm Grandmother Here we go Dra Kick you Nuruko's the best well, we have a lot of the best in our party, don't we? Well, well, well. You still had companions. A girl, and a snake, and a squid? I wonder who's going to taste the best. Let's start with the girl. Shito, Midare Boshi! Oh, there was a man too. Well, well, well. He's a cute boy, isn't he? Y you guys are. Who are you guys? Looks like we made it in time this. this time. I'm the Maho. Alice Fee is the 16th. I'm Luca, a hero of this world. Well, we don't get to see Luca's full illustration very often, do we? And that's the end of the chapter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time in Chapter 9. Bye now.